Hey guys, Luke the Plumbob here. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the brand new world in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, Bridlington Bay. So first up, thank you so much to EA and EA Game Changers who went ahead and sent me early access to the brand new Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack so I could go ahead and make some early videos and reviews for you guys. So thank you so, so much to EA. If you haven't seen already, I've also got videos on everything in build mode, everything in cast, everything in creator pair and lots, lots more. So go and check out the link down in the description to a playlist where you can go and check out every single one of my cats and dogs videos. So today I'm going to be taking you through Bridlington Bay and giving you an overview and a tour of the entire brand new world. Now if you don't know how to access it, of course first you've got to have cats and dogs and then go into the world selector menu and Bridlington Bay is down here in the corner. As you can see here, it's really cute. It's got a little dog and a cat flashing by. Uh, so if you go and click on it, it takes you straight to Bridlington Bay. So they actually have their own districts and sectors like they do in city living. So if I go to San Mai Shuno, as you can see here, they have their own little sectors. So like the fashion district, uh, Bridlington Bay has incorporated this and added their own little sectors. So you have the stable square, you have the Calaver Cove. You of course have the Dead Grass Isle, which is kind of like the secret island. And then you have the Whisker Man's Wharf. So as a quick overview of the entire map before we get into every lot individually, we have the Hecklings who live in this little house here with the most adorable dog. It's so cute. Then you have the Pepperstone Park. You have the Bridlington Poor Spital. You have your own little empty lot. And then you have the Domus Flilomirus. I don't know how you pronounce that. But that's an individual house that you can buy. So in the Whiskerman's Wharf, uh, you have the Ragdoll Reefer, which is the house you can buy. You have the Lynx uh, family who live here, and it's this crazy cat lady. Um, you have the Salty Paul Saloon, and you have the Club Calico Lounge with an empty lot here. You have the Hound's Head, which is a 64 by a 64 lot, so that's pretty impressive. Um, then you have the Bedlington Boat House, you have the De Delgato family, and then you have two empty lots in the Calaver Cove. And then on the island, you have the lighthouse and then you have the Dead Grass Discoveries Museum. So here we go. So over here, we have the brand new museum. So this gives a massive overview of everything in Bridlington Bay. And as you can see here, there's a really cute little mule like kind of little statue kind of thing off the entire island, which is really nice. Um, goes up to two floors, as you can see here. Um, also, if you zoom out, you can see the entire island, and it's pretty, pretty cool, and it's pretty. It's it's so pretty, as you can see here. It's 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 just so pretty, and you get little boats bobbing along, as you can see here. Um, then you can travel back to the docks, and you can travel to the beach via these. Um, you also have toilets, and as you can see here, you've got a little nature trail, and this takes you to I think a little cemetery here. Yes, it is. A little dogs and cats cemetery, which is really, really cute. As you can see here, it's got a little dog and a cat in its little uh, brass little fencing here, which is so cute. Um, so as you go along, let's have a look. What else do we have? Oh, I forgot about this. We've got the lighthouse. So you can actually go up it and you can go upstairs. And if you have two sims, of course, you can walk here in the lighthouse. I don't know why I say that. Like That's a normal thing. But anyway, <laughs> that is really cute. And then you've got a little beach down here. So that is pretty much a little overview of the island. And you can see here, you can see the ma mainland over there. So next we're going to get in. So here is Calaver Cove 64 by 64 lot, which is a massive mansion with a pretty cool pond outside and a little driveway. So as you can see here, it's got a massive pool in the background. And it's a pretty nice mansion. It's really, really big. Also from the mansion, they have the little forestry trails all over there. And then they have the main city along here with the docks. So along with it, we have two empty lots here, which you can go and build whatever your heart has to, to desire. Next up, we have the Bedlington Boathouse, which is a nice little boathouse you can go ahead and buy for your Sims. So if I go into build mode, as you can see here, it's a nice little nifty one. It's quite a cheap. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice where you can sims can live in Bridlington Bay. Then we have the dockyard and it's really, really cool and funky. I absolutely love this. It's just so pretty as well. I can't quite get over how nice and pretty it is. <laughs> but as you can see here, you got the boatyard. Then we have our other house here. Now sims actually live here, as you can see here, a few residents. But this is a really nice house as well. It's got it's quite kind of like upper class, kind of not mansion-like, but 
similar to a mansion. And they've got a really nice little driveway with a pond in the middle. Like, it's so cool and really nice and posh. Um, and then alongside, we have the little light here. Now, if we zoom out, uh, we have a little highway at the top, which is really nice. So alongside it, we have another little park area and beach. So now for Whiskerman's Wharf, uh, so this is kind of like the cat area. So we have the main lot here, which is the Tell's End, which is just an empty lot, 40 by 30, where you can decide to do whatever you want to. So this is Club Calico, which is the lounge area for cat lovers. So as you can see here, it's got a massive pool and it's a really, really nice lounge area. Um, it's got a really nice fountain here, which is really nice and pretty. And if you go along here, we have a little balcony area, which is really nice. But also we have some beautiful yachts, which is so, so nice. You know, if your sim is upper class enough to have a yacht, you know, they've got to live in Bridlington Bay. So alongside it, you of course can see all the brand new shops and the towns, which you can go and check out. Uh, but also if you carry on going along over here, we've got a little nice little fire in the corner for our sims to stay at. And we have the awesome dockyards. And this is just so, so nice. I just can't get over how pretty it is. It's just all pretty all lit up. And um, we've actually got um, one of the bars here, which you can actually visit. So let me go and move here quickly. <laughs> So this is the Salty Pools Saloon, which is a really nice, nice little and bar area. Um, and it's got some actually cool, pretty cool pictures. Look, look how cool the picture that is. That's so cool. Um, anyway, so you got all around here to explore. It's so, so nice and pretty and glittery and lovely and ah, um, literally, I just can't wait to bring a dog or a cat here or both or just, yeah, just any animal. It's, it's just so cute. As you can see here in the background, we've actually got like little advertisements, advertising cat food. It's just the little things like that we add to it, which make it even more amazing. So if we go up here, as you can see, we've got these really nice streets, which are just so, so nice. They're just so nice and pretty to explore. It's it's just unbelievable. This is just so much, you know, so much of this has just been added in. It's all been fine tuned and it's just the little things like this, which just make it so nice. Um... So now this is the Ragdoll Refurb, which is one house you can actually buy for your Sims, which is really, really nice. It's right by the dockyards as well, which is a really, you know, nice thing if you want to live by the water. Um, also, it's directly by the water, which is really nice. And you, you're really, really close to the bars, as you can see here. Um, so now if your Sim comes on out, next door they actually have um, all the shops all nearby, which is really, really nice. Just wish we could visit them all because I want to visit all these shops because they're so, so cool and pretty. And um, as you can see here, we can zoom out and we've got the little boat yard as well. And there's another one of those little advertisements, but this time of a dog and a cat. Ah, it's so cute. Um, then we've got a little park here, which is actually really nice. I didn't notice that. Um, but see, yeah, it's got a little pirate ship on it. Um, and then we're going back to the area we were at before. And then last but not least, we have the cat strap. A cat scratch cottage where the Lynx family ah. lives, which is a really nice little suburban little house. Next in Bridlington Bay, we have the dog area, which is the stable square. So we actually have one area here, which is the sporting space, which is the area where you can build whatever you want. So in this area, we have the pool, pool it's basically <laughs> the vet, basically the vets. So we have the little vet clinic here, which is really nice, which are obviously poorly dogs and cats can visit or have their normal checkups. Um, alongside this, we have a nice little park area, which goes on forever. And we've got this really nice statue of a dog and a cat, which I love. It's just the attention to detail is amazing. I'm going to go on like this forever. Um, as you can see, it's such a nice little town. I just want to live in it myself. It's so, so cute. Um, as you can see, we go along here. Oh, my sim just did something. Don't know what. Um, <laughs> as you can see here, it's a lot more naturey down here and quiet. We've got little cows in the field. Look at the cows. Moo, moo, moo. Um, I probably should tweet that to Taz on Twitter because that's, that's just so cute. And also, we have a little airport here. So the, this house here is one of them you can actually buy yourself and live in, um, already pre-made. Now this is actually quite nice. It's quite basic, but you know, everything you need and of course you can customise it yourself however you like. So opposite, you actually live right next to the awesome Sims 4 couple 
ever with the most adorable dog. You live right next door to the house, so why wouldn't you want to, you know, live in that house? So it's a good house, the Heckings, and as you can see here. Then we have Papa Stone Park, which is the nice little park area where you can go ahead and train your dog in all the agility courses, which is really nice. And that brings my tour to an end. Um, I've just noticed this amazing waterfall, and I love it. So, as I mesmerise you about this waterfall, I will bring the video to an end. So, thank you so much for watching. This is my tour of Bridlington Bay. Let me know down in the comments what was your favourite area of Bridlington Bay. Overall, I can't choose an area. It's all beautiful and amazing and just lovely and... Ah! So, anything gameplay related, if you want to go and check that out, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I will be doing Twitch live streams showing off all the gameplay related things and me playing the game normally. Uh, because I think that's going to be the best way to show everything what's new and included. So, don't forget to go and follow me on Twitch. Also, if you want to go and check out any more videos like on Creator Sim or Creator Pet, don't forget to go and check out the playlist down in the description. So, thank you so much for watching once again. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!